Hey everyone, I'm Sheila, and thanks for joining me here at The Quiet Space, where we chill, chat, and learn. Today's video, we are going to learn. I have asked my friend Julie to come in and explain to us boundaries, the types of people who cross them, and what we can do about them. So first, I'll have her explain to you each of the type of personalities that cross our boundaries and the methods they use. And then she'll come back and tell us how to effectively put a stop to this. So if you find that you enjoy this video or get anything out of it at all, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, Julie, I'm going to send it to you and please help us learn how to protect ourselves from boundary crossers. Thank you, Sheila. Most certainly. Here are some examples of different types of people overstepping boundaries and how they might do so. 1. The overly curious person. For example, someone who persistently asks personal questions despite your attempts to steer the conversation away. They will continually probe into your personal life, asking about finances, relationships, or health matters that you're uncomfortable discussing. 2. The controller. The friend or family member who constantly tries to dictate your decisions or plans. They may insist on choosing your activities, making decisions for you without your input, or dismissing your preferences. 3. The space invader. This would be someone who disregards physical or emotional boundaries. They may stand too close, touching you without permission, or pressuring you into physical contact you're not comfortable with. 4. The Time Demander. Someone who consistently expects your time and attention without considering your schedule or needs. They may start calling or messaging at inconvenient times, expecting immediate responses, or monopolizing your time in social settings. 5. The Emotional Leech. An example of this, is a person who consistently leans on you for emotional support but gives little in return. That person who always vents their problems to you without reciprocating support, disregarding your emotional capacity or boundaries. 6. The Guilt Tripper. Is someone who uses guilt as a tool to manipulate your actions or decisions. By making you feel bad for setting boundaries, implying you're selfish for not meeting their demands, or playing on your sympathies. 7. The One Upper. This person constantly tries to outdo or overshadow your achievements or experiences. By always interrupting with their own story or accomplishment when you're sharing yours, minimizing your successes. So these are just a few examples, and boundary violations can vary depending on the individuals involved in the specific situation. Understanding your own boundaries and assertively communicating them can help manage these interactions effectively. Now. Let's look at a few ways you can keep boundary oversteppers in their own lane. Thank you so much, Julie. You have cleared up a lot, not only for myself, but also for other people. Most of us have had times when situations like this have come up. And you know, when you're not sure it was done on purpose, well, you don't want to be too rude. But as you pointed out, these things are done to gain control over you. So thank you for clearing that up for us. I cannot wait until you come back next week and finish this video and give us the tools to keep boundary crossers in their own lane. Thanks so much for coming, Julie. And thank everyone who came to the video. I can't wait to see you all again next week when we finish up this video and get the tools we need to protect ourselves. Thanks for coming. Take care. See you all next week.